Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today, our intro is going to be while well, we take this interesting little boat ride to the next location, which is figuring out about the Order of the Fang. Now, I'm going to do this part in two different series. So the first part is going to be gathering the remainder of the Order of the Fang together, and the second part will be fighting two different dungeons. Which is, by two parts, I mean two different videos. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. It's pretty fun, so stick around. What happens when we talk? Do we just get yeeted? Mm. Greetings. Welcome, yeah, stranger. Voice. I am Professor Alasred. If you seek the Order of the Fang, you have found it. What, what brings you here? You tell Professor Alasred about your search for Malister. I have seen no Malister, but I know why he sought us. Long ago, we wrote the Croconomicon. With the power of life and death, he could spell disaster in the wrong hand. Before I say more, you must earn the Order's trust. Please go to the Krakow Sphinx, seek out Shalik the Wise, and heed his words. Bro, wait a second. I haven't done this in so long, I completely forgot. That the person in charge of the Bound School is also in charge of the Order of the Fang. What? <laughs> Greetings, wizard. So, the professor wants to test you. We are the ones being tested. We put the touch to sleep, but now our work is undone. They will try to enslave everyone. We must reunite the Order of the Fang. We have strong allies in the Manders, but they are struggling. Earn our trust by helping us. Okay. While Al Hazred and I remained awake during the great sleep, other members of the Order of the Fang did not. If you are sincerely here to help, now is the time to seek them out. When I last saw General Kaba, our esteemed military leader was holding back the tuts so we could cast the sleep. I only hope he has not <laughs> suffered for his memory. <laughs> Wait. Go find the great the general Rami was just Rami. <laughs> all of champions. Rami can help you find Kaba. Okay. At first, I was like, <laughs> the little mander is the general of the Order of the Fang. Hello, Rami. I hope you've come to help, young wizard, because this place is swimming with tuts. You are not the only one looking for General Kaba. The tuts are looking for the Order of the Fang, and I fear we may be detected. We must slow them down before they find the general. Surely a powerful right. wizard like yourself can take out their minion, the Sphinx Sakwi. Rip. Starting off the episode strong. Holy shit, you guys give a lot. So, General Kappa is safe for now. So far, you are as great and powerful a wizard as the Order of the Fang believes you to be. General Kaba will speak only to someone carrying the seal of the Fang. To our horror, that evil tuck neck that captured it before the great sleep. We must get it before he tricks the general into revealing himself. We shall see if you can defeat Neckbet in his chamber. Seal of Fang. Kiss that confidence goodbye as you see how little you are. No, you. Bye bye. Ooh. You have the seal. I am sorry I doubted you, yeah, but I bitch. never thought I'd see someone more powerful than the Tuts. Oh god, what I can I say? I stay here and keep my ears open, but you have restored my faith that the Tuts can be defeated. Thank you, friend. No problem. Go quickly. General Kaba is hiding in the treasure room up ahead. You bear the seal of the Fang. Tell me, wizard, 
What events occurred during my great slumber? Uh, come. You tell General Kogoth about the Tut's desire to rule over many worlds. If only we had succeeded in crushing the Tut's earlier. I confess, wizard, a soul scavenger sapped my strength by stealing my coin of destiny. I tried to protect the Order of the Fang without it, but to my dismay, I couldn't, and we failed. If we Don't are to worry, defeat brother. the Tut's this time, I'll need my coin of destiny. Please help me recover my strength by destroying that soul scavenger nearby. You'll feed on the light in your eye. <laughs> Bro, that was dark. You think I have light in my eyes still? <laughs> and that is why it will destroy you. Oh, you're death. How much will this do? Damn. Flame dancers. Well, we are about to level up, so... Way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, up she rises, way, hey, oh. Alright, let's get her this coin in my possession. I can feel my strength returning. We must oh, okay. prepare for battle. I hope I will not fail. But first, I need my sword. I gave it to Rami for safekeeping. Go to him and get it for me. Yes, sir. Honored one, I'm afraid that all I have left of the sword is this. Please take it to the great general if he needs it. <laughs> we can get a new card. And here's when I start having problems with my audio. So for here on, for a decent amount of time, there's going to be a bunch of problems where you're just not going to be able to hear anything. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover like I'm doing here. So once we do that, we begin to fight these blue men and it goes pretty easily. We didn't fizz at all, which is pretty good for the first set. And we fight the next set, where this one we do fizz once, so I would have been like, ah, fuck. But still, finish it pretty easy, and at this point I think I'm like, wow, I'm getting a lot of food. Alright. So we gotta help this guy because he's just sitting around. Uh, he has a bunch of power pips, so I'm like, "You good? You there?" He goes, "Don't attack. I'm just testing." So we just sit back, and he chooses. He plays a card raw, which is a, a very powerful, balanced card, uh, which attacks every single person. So I just wanted to show how much damage that this is gonna do. And it's going to do similar to each. This guy just does a little bit more just because of the plus 75 and 30. But still. <laughs> so my man was just fucking chilling. So. After waiting for like 5 minutes, I just say cool and leave. And we go back, talk to this man again. He sends us on another quest. So we just pick up some gems. One gem, two gem, three gem, and four. This I'm like, why are you stealing leather from like these these kids? They they're just poor innocent manders. Why well, you gotta yoink their their clothes to just steal their leather? But we do as we're told. And go back. We're like, alright, this is the last one, right? No. I need more stuff for this sword. Cool beans, kid. So 
So we go gather more components for the sword, get some more nettle root <laughs> pet snacks, because we keep getting those. Maybe I should have sped up these text parts, because mostly I'm just like sitting there letting them breathe, but oh well. Hopefully this doesn't happen again, where my audio just gets McFucked. Prepare to meet your doom, easy victory, easy clap, we go put the sword in the ice bath, give it to him. My plan was excess I was like, yeah bro, it was all you, I did nothing. Go talk to the main man. Now we gotta go get other people. So we'll go into the chamber of fire or whatever chamber of champions, the thing that we just went into. For General Kaba. Oh, wait. Oh wait, we're going for the warrior. Kayamate. So then we keep going, find Akko, start talking to him, and he sends us on a quest. And for the next part, I took a little break. So my audio will start working again, but towards the end of that, it also cuts out, so that's fun. But yeah, sorry for the missed audio. I'll make sure it doesn't happen in the, in the future. I have had this dream for a long time to test my skills in the arena, but alas, I am not allowed in. Could you ask the arena master if the son of Oka could compete? Ooh. For a gladiator mask. Oh man. <laughs> Did we get the mask? Pug. <gasps> oh, I have to. I have to see. So, what does the set do? What's the applied set? Oh, it just gives an additional two accuracy. Yeah, I like that a lot better. <laughs> Perfect. Now with this gear I got you and the mark of the gladiator, you'll be able to march into the Colosseum unnoticed. You'll find the Colosseum up ahead. When you enter, be sure to talk to Marakara, the arena master. Yes, Tell sir. Want to fight Kayamate the Great. When you succeed, tell Kayamate that the Order of the Fang needs him to rejoin the cause. My plan should work, I hope. Good luck, young wizard, and be careful. You want a Mander to compete in the arena? Yep. <laughs> you must be joking. Who put you up to this? Was it Bort? Such a sense of humor. There was only one Mander who has achieved that feat, and I know no one will ever come close to his skills. Now that was a warrior. What? You say that Akko is a descendant of Oka? <laughs> it's almost like their names are backwards. Now you're really pulling my tail. Sure, I'll let him into the arena. But only if he has proof of such an outlandish claim. Uni foreigner. You think you can take down Kayamate the Great? <laughs> we'll soon see how you fare against real warriors. Thanks. How about proving yourself first, novice? Think you could defeat a lowly Sakwi Ripper? All right. <laughs> the entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a yeah. new contestant. I'm gonna destroy him. You say that I can show off my skills in the arena? Yep. Oh, such great news. But I must have proof that my father was Oka. 
Oh well, I should have known it was too good to be true. You don't have any Thank you proof. anyway for trying, wizard. Hold on! Am I not the son of the great Orca? I can become as great as him if I just dare to follow my dreams. You don't become grand champion by standing around in hallways. True. Okay, we need to get into the old trophy room. My father's equipment is in there. One of the Sandstalkers has a symbol of passage that will let you in. Go and find the Sandstalker who has the symbol of passage. Only then will you be able to enter the trophy room next to the entrance to the Colosseum. Oh yeah, wait a second. We're like 23%, how come we're like not critting at all? Or not getting like any power pips? <laughs> what? Wait a second, that's actually pretty cool. If the answer you seek is not here, leave and come back, and it will appear. Moon, croc, sun. You have brought my father's equipment. I will be able to train for the arena now. Now I will need to have his mark of the gladiator. But to get that will mean entering the hourglass chamber. That will require a time ribbon to protect from the time flux. Time a time flux. ribbon will have to be made with frozen silk. If you can defeat a couple of ice weavers, I will create the time ribbon. Care to clear out the cobwebs on some spiders down the hall? Yeah, hold on. I think the main quest also later has me fight these, if I remember correctly. Myth. King. Cry. Easy, brother. Not bad, but don't congratulate yourself just yet. The Sakwi Ripper is actually a pushover. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens in the next round. Okay, I think you got lucky, that Sakwi Ripper. Prepare for something with a little more heat. Ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, for your enjoyment, Sunburn. we have a special duel. Foreigner Wizard versus the Wild Sunbird. Yeah. Kill for the gladiator you can watch them in action behind the bird gate yeah. so you are the new kid on the block maybe the block isn't big enough for the both of us <laughs> we'll see who stays and who goes <laughs> oh you got a little minion with you how cute how quaint all right let's see this new card Oh, we're kind of low. <laughs> Sorry, I want to go charge my phone. Five oh one. So it's probably the lower spectrum. Wait, did I say the sunbird is tough? It's okay, but you'll have to prove that was not beginner's luck. How many times are you going to say that, brother? I thought I heard a cheer or two for you last time. Maybe I can set up a match between you and Stone Chin. But you'll have to make him interested in you first. Tell you what. <laughs> if you bash a couple of those ice weavers, I think we Who can set something called up. it? Stone Chin likes fresh spider eyes. Collect some of those and he'll be willing to tangle with you. Two out of three. Fish. <laughs> and here we go again with our sound not working. I don't know why, but like, after 30 minutes of each one, it kind of just shits itself. But anyway, we're going through. We now gotta feed 
this hungry man and funny enough at this point i was like those spins there i'm like yeah cheer me on we got this kind of sad that it's it's not showing up because i thought it was gonna be really funny to watch like woo, let's go <laughs> but anyway time to go fight krog but first talk to our boy akko and help him give him this the silk which he learned to weave in mander school and now we get to go fight the time flux <laughs> the time flux shit beat father time sands of time prove that you are worthy yeah bet bro you're balanced so i'm gonna do so much damage and speaking of doing so much damage to you 50 40 30 1200 i was like yo that's so much damage but uh <laughs> it was fun and then we got oppo oka not aku just happy of his son look at his little hand claps he's like praising his son i'm such a happy father clap 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 what a good kitten <laughs> yeah, free the Mander race, Akka, Akko, the mark of the gladiator so that Akko can go live his dreams. What a good dad. Those little hand claps. Then you go talk to Ak Akka and he's like, yeah, you got it? Wait, you talked to my father? And we're like, damn, I kind of wish you could like bring Akko in for that. But, uh, whatever. Sad that you can't. <laughs> Alright, back to the main storyline. Going to go fight the hungry troll man. Who just wants to eat you. And eat the spider eyes. Which, funny enough, he has, like, a spider as a companion. So I'm surprised he just doesn't eat that spider. But whatever. Let's see how it goes. So... We get a fizz in here, but otherwise it goes pretty swimmingly well. We're getting a lot of pyrite. And we go talk to this. Let me see who's left, but kind of like checking the schedule. <laughs> Bort. Fight those, because it's in his contract. Nothing you can do. I bet send us out to go fight Bort and his sand stalkers which goes pretty well we're starting to lose health a decent amount during this so I might have to start healing intermittently in the future but whatever we're still like doing really well let then show me some spirit me showing spirit as I turn it in a circle <laughs> go to Bort and fight that man which does suck because I want to like jump up and down in the cinematic part but then that just skips the dialogue which is not fun so you think you can defeat me you don't have what it takes I have all the glory yeah bro you're about to get shit on except I fizz and then you fizz because we both suck at this game and take that. You don't look like a real warrior. Thanks, man. But the crowd would go wild. Sadly, there's no crowd because they're all dead. There's no ghosts watching. So, okay. I gotta go talk to our top guys. No time to slow down. Time to go fight these people just walking around right next to us. Except, wait, I'm boosted. These are not the right ones. It's not the people right there. It's the people further up, because that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, that still goes well, because another guy, or we joined another guy, because he was fighting. Mm. Got a nice treasure card there. Alright, go type. Type, fight go fight hardy have one more big man to fight 
a spooky man covered in that which you would think would be death right because he's a mummy but no he isn't strangely enough that man is life so later he's going to be talking shit to us where he's like oh i'm gonna babysit you i don't want to be a babysitter bro your life you're about to get shit on clap <laughs> fucking i like your cut g type shit right there and he gave me his trading card even though it was fire instead of life but same difference so now we have to go fight ka amate the person we've been here to go search for and of course we have the perfect amount of energy spicy <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I do when I'm I should do when I'm just sitting around waiting for that. But yeah, that's where I Sorry. That's where I see that I have the perfect amount. Oh. So this is just fifty plus thirty and look at that. Fifteen hundred. If I had the plus forty as well, ooh. Ooh, it'd be juicy. We're also getting a lot of uh, seeds. But anyway, this man is now sad because we defeated him. He's gonna just retire, very rich, make a comeback to her, but we're like, nah, brah. We need some help. Wizard City needs your help. The rest of the Order of the Fang wants you to come back, clap some touch cheeks, just go up, clap, 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 smack him. They gave us a hat. Yeah, go recapture your glory. It was no defeat, it was a stalemate. Now go... Unstalemate it. <laughs> I maybe should have written a script, but I'm too tired. And I just want this put up. So sorry. It's just, uh... On the fly, this is me just... Randomly talking. I'm actually watching it as we do it. And just have... The mic running. <laughs> so yeah. Let's go talk to the main guy back in the main spot. And that will do it for the end of this one. So this next part will have us go to a dungeon up top. Uh, there's also a dungeon right in front of us through those two pillars there. And then I believe once you do both of those, there's also something that spawns in that middle circle that's on the left side. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm really sorry about the sound. It's kind of very, very annoying to do this, but I'm going to update uh, the program that I record in. I'm also going to upgrade update the OBS just in case there's a problem with that, even though I looked over the OBS footage and it worked. So I think there was just a problem with uh, the system. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of like just doing commentary over it if the sound just sucks. Anyway, thanks.